guys. It's time for ice cream. <laughs> when is it not time for ice cream? So uh, Whole Foods has finally put out a non-dairy ice cream. This is an almond, almond milk based uh, non-dairy gluten-free and vegan ice cream. And they have, I think, seven flavors total. So I got the mocha java fudge, the mint chocolate chip, and the chocolate chip peanut butter swirl. And they also had a vanilla, a chocolate, uh, some sort of berry thing, and some sort of coconut thing, I think. Future Swayze here. So I just wanted to interrupt and say that I could not find anything about these ice creams on the internet except for a short little piece on Live Kindly, I think, uh, where they talked about it and they just happened to spot these at uh, Whole Foods, I think, in Southern California. Apparently, this is just like a very soft launch. They only have them at a few Whole Foods, again, in like Southern California. So there's a good chance that you don't have them in your area yet if you are watching this. So I'm sorry about that. That really sucks. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have gotten the vanilla just to like really get a good taste of the the base of the ice cream, but too late now. Okay, so I'm, oh man, which one do I want to try first? Well, I'm most excited about the mint chocolate chip, of course. I actually did have another really, really good vegan mint chocolate chip. Uh, it was the Coconut Bliss. I think you guys have been mentioning that for a while to try that one. So yeah, I mean, I that one's really good. And the Nata Moo, they're, they're pretty much equal, I would say, in terms of deliciousness. That's the only one of theirs that I've tried, but they've got a bunch of different flavors, so... Try them if you have access to them. I've seen them at our grocery store. They have some flavors and then at Whole Foods, they have some. Anyway, we're not talking about that stuff. We're talking about, oh man. See, I don't know why I got the chocolate chip peanut butter. Why did I get that one? Like, I'm not even, I don't know. I'm not super crazy about that. I, I don't know. I should have got the, I guess the vanilla. Yeah. Okay, so it's got one of these things. Not Not crazy about that, but whatever. Just more plastic to throw away. Weird. Like, what is that? I've never seen an ice cream container like that. Like, why would you even make this plastic at all? That's so weird. Smells like peanut butter. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem, upon scooping, it doesn't seem super icy. Mmm. I take it back. I'm glad I got that one. It's got the peanut butter swirl in there and then adds the chocolate chip. So I actually like that. So it's a vanilla base. And then it's got lots of little chips, like they're really, really tiny little chips, which I like. So there's lots of crunch. It's actually pretty good. Oh, and this has the new, um, what do you call this? The new nu nutrition label on it, which is great. It actually says not only the calories per serving, but the calories per container. So just in case you've been like, oh, it's not really that much if I eat the whole container. Dude, it's 800 calories. Yes, it is that much. Yeah, I think that is a great change. They also changed um, total sugars to include added sugars. So total sugars is 20 included added sugars is 20. Yeah, I like this. I will say it is slightly icy, which is not too surprising because this is an almond milk base. It doesn't have any, let's see, it does have coconut oil. Well, I guess that's similar to the Ben and Jerry's, right? Isn't there almond and coconut oil? Um, I'm sure it has something to do with the ratio of the you know, almond milk, coconut oil, the sugar, who knows? I don't make ice cream, but uh, the texture is not as good, I would say, at least for this one, as like the Ben and Jerry's or the Nautamu or the Coconut Bliss or some of the ones that have like the really good textures that's like either really creamy or it's got that kind of light, fluffy thing like Nautamu has. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, this is, it's not bad, but it's it's a little icy. It's not like the the Kroger brand Simple Truth stuff, or the, what was the one I just tried? The So Delicious No Sugar one. Oh God, terrible. It's it's not bad at all. Not my favorite, but not bad. I guess we'll go with the Mocha Java. I don't like this packaging though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> my hands are so cold. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, it doesn't look the best. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like whenever you open up a Ben and Jerry's, it looks good, right? The other one looked good. This one just looks like tar. I'm getting the uh, Fern Gully Tim Curry vibes. Maybe that's a good thing. Ooh, it smells very yummy. I've got to like scoop over on the edge because that's where the fudge is. Whoa, okay. See, hmm. 
the so delicious cold brew that I tried. That was a little bit too much coffee for me. This one's like not enough. If I like really try and taste it, it's like, okay, I can taste a little bit of coffee flavor, but I don't know. It's not quite enough. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I would like just a little bit more coffee, but I think it's tasty. I like the kind of, it doesn't look great on the side, but you can see in the middle there, it's more of a contained fudge. It's not just like runny. I think it's pretty good. Again, the, the texture is really what's holding it back. It, it's, it's just kind of that hard, like breaks apart ice cream. You know, you don't get that nice scoop. It's just like, Bleh. and this has been out for several minutes. It's not like I just took this out of the freezer. Oh, okay. That scoop was better. Maybe it just needs to be out for a while. This has been out for, I would say almost 15 minutes now. So maybe that's the trick with the almond base. You really need to leave it out for like 15 minutes before it gets good texture. That kind of sucks. It's still not great, but it's, it's better. It's a little bit creamier. I just wanted to say a little bit more about this one, the mocha fudge one. It's so weird. It melts like like water? It just turns into water. Again, I said these are icy, so I guess that makes sense. But I feel like the other ones don't do that. Again, they do have more of an icy texture, but there's at least some creaminess there. I feel like this one, it's, I don't know, it's so watery when it melts in your mouth. It's really weird. It's like almost unpleasant because you're expecting it to be ice cream, right? Yeah, it's super weird. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's ice cream and I ate it because it's ice cream. Um, but it's it's not the best. Uh, I found that the best way to, to eat it is to like put it in to basically make a milkshake, right? To add soy milk or almond milk, whatever you want um, to it and kind of mash it up. I just mash it up with a spoon. I guess you can make like a, a real milkshake and use a blender or whatever, but I just put it in a glass with some milk, mash it up it's better that way. Okay, and I have brought this, but I'm just not using it at all. I can't, I'm so tempted to do to use my teeth. I'm so tempted to use my teeth. I'm not gonna do it. It's not good. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes. Please be good. Please be delicious. I love that it's green. Oh, oh my God, yummy. This one's gonna be awesome. I know it. Ooh. It's good. It's definitely got the like, this is kind of an Andy's mint type thing. Again, the texture still, it's just not, it's not the best texture. Not a boo, coconut bliss, Ben and Jerry's. Um, the So Delicious, the new So Delicious line, those are all better texture. Don't get me wrong, I could still eat this entire thing. No problem, I could eat this whole thing. Ooh, and this one's only 680. Hmm, that's not so bad. That's like a third of my calories for the day. <laughs> the crunch is good. I will say there, there's that difference. I don't know, I feel like it's got a little bit of a lower quality mint taste. To me, it's got a little bit more of a, I mean, they all taste kind of fakey mint, right? But this one's just not, I don't know, maybe it's just the green throwing me off. Maybe it's all in my head, but. Well, isn't the, the Not A Moose green too, isn't it? I think the Coconut Nut or the Cocoa Bliss wasn't green, but I think the Not A Moose green, I don't even remember. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like even taste-wise, I think those are a little better. I mean, they should be. They're like two or three dollars more a pint, something like that. So they should be better quality, but not bad at all. It's still very tasty. I want to eat more of it. So <laughs> there you go. The other ones, it's like, oh, I don't know. I'm good. Definitely leave this thing out for like 15 minutes before you start eating it because the texture is much better. Basically, once it starts to get melty, just eat it quickly. I mean, it's kind of like if you make um, like banana ice cream, right? I mean, it's got like nice, <laughs> Um, texture and it's kind of frozen and then it just falls apart into goopy mess so you have to eat it super quickly. Anyway, not bad. Uh, too expensive, I think, for, for what it is. Like, I don't, I don't mind so much paying the $6.99 or $5.99 when it's on sale for the Not A Moo or the Coco Bliss or whatever, because those are really, really good. Or Ben & Jerry's. Or the haagen I forgot the haagen Also, I'm just burping, also really good texture. I don't mind paying so much for those, but for something like this, it's like the, I think it was like $4.99. Like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth $4.99, especially when, again, I can get the vanilla, the huge thing of vanilla soy from Trader Joe's 
for like 350 something like that but that's just me and if if you like the almond milk base uh instead of the the coconut or the coconut almond kind of mix well again this is almond and coconut oil not coconut milk whereas the uh nanamu and the cocoa bliss or whatever those are coconut like milk based but yeah if you like this sort of base then yeah try them i guess they're like the same price as the so delicious and the almond dream almond aren't they I want to, no, I feel like those are cheaper. I feel like I've seen those for like $3.99 at the store, maybe only on sale. I mean, that's, that's how ridiculous Whole Foods is. Their store brand is like more expensive than some of the like name brand non-dairy ice creams. That's stupid. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I would love to know if you've tried this ice cream, if there's any other non-dairy ice cream that I should try, please tell me, <laughs> please tell me. Uh, yeah, subscribe. That's cool. Support the channel. That's cool. Patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. And I will have a new video very soon.